All right, fellow anglers. I've gotten a couple messages. People ask me about the tandem rigs that I use in my videos. So I figure what better way to do it is to just make you a quick video, show you how I tie it, show you the material that I use, and explain a little bit how I use it. So um, I've got the material set up down here. I'm going to grab this camera, show you what I'm using right here, and then I'll uh, do a little bit of time for you. All right, everyone, I got everything right here that I use. I got these triple swivels, if you can see right here. I think they're from Eagle Claw or whatever. I get them at Walmart. Um, not too expensive, but they work, work pretty well. And if you see here, I got my Naughty Hooker jig heads that I'm going to use. One of them's going to be a 1 16th, and the other one will be a 1 8th. I like to use two different weights because I like one to fall faster than the other. I usually put the heavier one on the longer end and the lighter one on the shorter end. And what what I got right here is just my Berkley uh, fluorocarbon vanish. I like to use that. It's 20 pounds. I usually like to use 30 pounds because you know if you ever hooked up to two reds at one time, you want that uh, you want that line to last and them not to be able to pull it separate and break. And then over here, all I have is my uh, my pliers that have my line cutter right here, and I'll use that to cut my line and uh, whatever else I need. So give me a minute, I'm going to set everything up, and then we will start showing you how to tie it up. Alright guys, so what I've done, I've cut me little over a foot of this uh, fluorocarbon and uh, I like my first string to be approximately after all the knots are tied I like it to be about a foot long so I've looped it through this one loop of the, uh, the triple swivel and what I what is what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tie a cinch knot you're gonna wrap it around about ten times Alright, 10, and you're going to come back through here, loop it through, and then grab that tag in and loop it back through. And just cinch it down. Simple and easy. Alright. And clip it off. That's what it's going to look like. Simple and easy, good, strong, easy knot. All right, the next one you're going to want after it's over with to be about 18 inches. You're going to want it four to six inches away from the first one. So I'm going to pull it off. Clip it. And the same thing, nice little cinch knot, just push it through there, wrap it 10 times, pull it through the loop, then pull it back through the other loop, tie it down. Easy peasy. And then you're going to do the same things with the jig heads. Now when I used to tie my soft plastic, I mean my soft plastics and my hard plastics, I used to like to use a, what's called a loop knot. It gives them more range of motion and it gives them to move around a lot. But a uh, loop knot in a situation like this gives it too much motion and too much ways to get caught up. So I use this. And I use them Norton 
quick releases now. So I don't have to worry about tying loop knots. All right, guys, there you have it. Got my swivel there, my two lines, my 1 16th, and my 1 8th. That's all it is, man. All right, everybody, that was my tandem rig. Now, some people, they like to just use the fluorocarbon they tie it in like a little loop knot and then tie that loop to their uh, to their main line. The problem with that, guys, is if one breaks, you're going to have to retie the whole thing. Now, when you have this, uh, when you use this swivel right here, if one of these snags, one of these pulls and breaks off, all you got to do is add one piece of line, put your jig head back on it, and you're good to go. What I also like to do, I like to maybe start out with two different lures. I'll put my... Uh, my dirty bay here and uh, I may put an AM lure or I may put vice versa with my down south and uh, I like to test them out and see what they're biting I may use one dark color I may use one light I find out what they're biting then I put two of the same on there sometimes you double up man you just hold on and be ready for the ride so uh, this is that Norton I've been telling you about so say you you're in a place where you got a lot of snags and it's not good to use this thing you just come over here pop that thing off pull your single back on look at that you're ready to go that took less than five seconds to do that um, 35 pound rating pretty good I've been pretty impressed with it so what I like to do, how I like to work it, you can either throw it out, slow retrieve, throw it out, let it hit the bottom, do a little cadence, pop it pop, pop, one, two or three times. It's going to shoot them lures up in the water like this. And one's going to fall faster than the other and they're just going to look like two fish swimming along, two little bait fish. And they're going to hit the bottom. And then you're going to pop them again, pop, pop same thing now say the fish ain't on the bottom they're mid-level well you just reel it in with a little bit of speed then give it another couple pops and the same thing it's going to shoot them up higher bring them back down do you can either do a slow retrieve or work your cadence one two three two count reeling in the slack one two three two count reeling in the slack now on windy days you don't want to hold your rod tip up like this. That wind is going to hit that line and blow it right here. And it's going to just mess your cadence up all over the place. But you can accomplish the same thing by holding that rod tip down close to the water. Reeling it in. Pop, pop, pop. Reeling in the slack. Pop, pop, pop. That's going to keep tension on the line. It's going to keep that wind from affecting everything. And it's going to get you a fish every single time. Okay guys, if you like my video, hit the like button for me, subscribe to our channel, go over to Facebook and check us out at Dirty Bay Anglers, and check us out on Instagram at Dirty Bay Fishing. And check me out at Instagram, Charles Cleburne Fishing. Thanks guys, tight lines and God bless.